All right, this is Jacob Fredrickson. I'm going to be showing you a short uh, Revit tutorial here. And the one I wanna focus on is actually how to troubleshoot your energy analysis model. Um, and the reason that is, is I actually had this problem this week. So I just wanted to show you some things that you can do uh, to prevent it or even to figure out what's going wrong so that you can actually fix it so it doesn't happen again. All right, so here I have just a basic analytical model right here, which you can do by doing analyze and energy optimization. But let's go check uh, Insight and see what it says about this certain model. All right, as, I, as you can see, it's giving me an error. Or it was. Oh, this is the wrong one. Let's go. to optimize. Okay. And then we'll go to optimize and we'll see that right here. Okay, um, and if you are like me, you might have gotten, uh, you should be getting these emails, right? It says analysis received and whatnot. So what I'm gonna show you is actually an error that I was getting earlier. So analysis, let's go for failed for model stage, which is that current model that I'm actually analyzing. So, and it should have the same errors that it is now. But let me just show you what it's going on right here. So we see this email and it says error, an issue, uh, Autodesk Insight failed for model stage error. An issue has occurred related to the DOE-2 simulation. It is below and may be assistance in determining the issue with your building model. All right, so let's look at these things. We have these errors and it's, what it's essentially saying is that the wall is too thin to be counted for this, anal this analytical model. Now there are two things that we can do. We can change those walls to make sure that they're the proper thickness, or we can change the settings to make sure that it just calculates automatically for the kind of wall that I want. So uh, the problem is though, is it says layers AIM 0217, AIM 0261, and AIM 0270. Uh, if you're in your Revit model, uh, you actually do not know what that essentially means. But what we can do is we can go over here, to insight, we can go over to um, oh, just got rid of it again. We can uh, come over here and we can go to Nah, it's not going to show, but I'll, I'll just show you in this one. So if you ever are having this issue, what you can do is you can go back and you can click export and we want the XML data, essentially, export that. All right, the zip folder what I'll do is just show them file, open with my archive manager here. All right, and now I'm just gonna open, I'm just gonna extract this first. Let's go to downloads, downloads. And then I'm going to open with notepad. And the reason I'm using notepad is because all XML files are, can be viewed in notepad. And what you can do is you can do control F and you can find aim 0211. Cause I know that one was actually the one that is causing the problem. 
All right, and um, just to interpret this data, you get a construction ID number, uh, and then you'll get what's going on here, like your absorption unit. This is essentially what is applied to your thing. So what we have here is we have name compound ceiling. Uh, this is just the ceiling with the gypsum wall board on furring. So that I know now is the problem with my model is it's not reading my ceilings correctly. So what I can do then is I can come in here, I can go to like my ceiling plans, click my ceiling, cause I know that's what it is. And I can go to edit. Now I know here that there was an issue here, so I can uh, change this, maybe one and change that. I think this was actually 0.7, this three. And you can also change this. It says the wall is too thin, so you maybe, uh, but it is the correct size. So what you can then do is you can actually go to analyze settings, no, wrong button, settings. And go all the way down to other options and go here. It doesn't look like you can edit this, but there is a three dot little here and then you have ceilings, all right? And now I know my ceilings are essentially, they're underneath wood floor joists. All of them will be under wood floor joists or in a, a type of wood is essentially. So I can find, um, ceiling below choice and I can actually uh, put the insulation that it'll be and I'm just gonna do 10 just for an example and I can click okay and okay make sure everything else is done then remember you have to go back to analyze and you have to regenerate your model you have to recreate it or else it won't work so recreate the energy analysis model go to here Update energy and analytical model. And then go here. And then again, this is gonna take a while to load, right? But um, this is the finished product of what it works and you no longer will be getting those kind of errors. So again, remember, uh, what you want to do is you want to go back here. Usually you won't be able to select it if it's failed. So you want to click on You want to click on these tabs when so it'll give you it right now. It won't let me because it's still analyzing and you want to export and you want to do the XML data. All right, and then after that, remember to go to Notepad. Find your aim, which is your layer that's causing you the issue. Find the name of it, and then either fix that wall or adjust your settings so that it calculates correctly for you. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps someone in need, and you guys have a great day.